Hey, from Miro with Carhaven. We have today an uh, older Mercedes, a C280 with an M272 engine. Um, we bought this thing at auction, so we're gonna sell it ourselves. It came with a P0015 code, which has been um, you know, talked about a lot online. There's a lot of people throwing theories about what it is. Is it camshaft sensors? Is it a sprocket? Diamond chain, things like that. So we, we, we never follow what you know the forums say and things like that. We do our own diagnostics because we are specialists and we have the right tools for the job. So um, we're gonna use um, the Mercedes OEM tool, which is DAS, D-A-S, with the older vehicles. Uh, follow the steps like we do with every single process always and just uh, take a look at what can happen with the car, diagnose it and fix it properly. All right, so let's show you what's going on. So we are diagnosing this P0015 code uh, on this uh, C280. Great thing about having the, the Zentry diagnostic system is that it tells you what's going on. So as you can see in here, you can continue with the diagnostic, write the code, and then it tells you exactly what not to do. And then it's gonna give you the repair. So, um, and then replace the solenoid for the exhaust camshaft on the right cylinder bank. Gives you the part number that we can get. We don't get generally the, the Mercedes ones. Uh, Peter Bork makes this for them, so that's what we get. Uh, let me show you exactly what we're looking at here. So that's the engine. Bank one, bank two here. So we're gonna be looking at this. Solenoid's right here. So we'll show you what that looks like. So here she is, it's an 07 C280 uh, M272 V6 non-turbocharged engine made with engineers ruled Mercedes-Benz, not the MBAs. So the decisions were made on the basis of good sound engineering. Uh, they put this engine in a lot of different things, C-class, some uh, E-classes, SUVs, a whole shebang. Um, the issues we see sometimes are not in the timing chain per se, they are also pretty solid but in the camshaft solenoid. So those are components that you'll see in the diagram later where they come from. They come towards the front of the camshaft. So this thing has two banks being a V6, right? The V is right there, the right bank, uh, left bank. Each one has two sides, an intake and the exhaust. There's two camshafts per side. So these are the solenoids that typically go bad right in there on that side. And then this is the right bank in there. So we're gonna start to take, to take a look at that. Uh, follow the steps, so never skip steps. Always follow what the OEM tool tells us to do. And then, you know, of course, that is uh, addition that is compounded as improved with our experience. Our mechanics have uh, 50 years of experience combined in Mercedes and BMW and Mini Cooper and Audi. So uh, we'll see what we can find. Okay, so now we have completed that repair. Um, the computer, as you recall, indicated to replace the solenoid for the exhaust camshaft on the right bank. That's that one right here, as you can see. So, just to give you a general overview, that's the engine. Move the cover a little bit further up. So, left bank, right bank, this side is intake, that side is exhaust. So, what we're changing is, you can see there, that's the solenoid. You can see it's brand new. So, this is the part that we are using. Pierberg, uh, they make this for Mercedes, so this is exactly what you're looking for. Let me zoom in real cool so you can see. Camshaft is just solenoid. Again. Right bank, exhaust side. And then um, once we clear the codes, took the car for a road test. This is what you want to see when you scan it with a scan tool again. Remember it was indicated in an error there. So this is DAS. DAS is the system that we use for older Mercedes. And result is a check in here, which means that there is no diagnostic trouble codes in there. So let's get in there, confirming that everything's fine. It takes a little bit to read the memory. And the computer is indicated here, full codes. Proceed. Not the most uh, advanced of the systems for older vehicles. Ask me to switch off the ignition. Wait a little bit. And there's no fault codes. That's what you want to see in a good repair.